Jax 630. Fox 30 Action News Jax starts right now. And a good evening to you. I'm Robert Grant in for John Bachman tonight. And I'm Tanika Hughes. A local couple says that they have been trying to get a marriage license for the last year, but say they've had no luck. And they believe it's because they are deaf. So today they filed a federal lawsuit against the Circuit Court of Duval County and its clerk of court. Action News Jax Princess John A. Steverson tells us how this all began. To celebrate their 10th anniversary of dating Yoel Afaro and Yusela Solvente say they came to the Duval County Courthouse to get married and to get a marriage license. But their celebration was quickly cut short when they were denied that marriage license. They went to the clerk's counter and were denied a license and said, well, no, you need to bring uh, a, a hearing impaired interpreter with you. They said, well, that's, that's it's not what we know the law to be, but can we speak to our manager? Yoel Alfaro and Yusela Silvente are both deaf. Their lawyer, John Phillips, says once the couple met with a manager, they were still denied an interpreter and were told they needed to bring their own. Even the clerk's website says that they will provide an interpreter in these cases. The couple was looking for a court-appointed interpreter versus getting a personal interpreter. We would like for the ease of access and accessibility to happen on the day that people want to obtain their marriage licenses regardless of their status of disability. The fourth judicial circuit court of Florida's website says under its foreign language interpreter program that you are entitled to a sign language interpreter at no cost to you. It also says that requests for a sign language interpreter should be made at least five days prior to the scheduled event. After learning that, Mr. Alfaro says he backtracked and made eight attempts to call the Duval County Clerk's Office trying to schedule an appointment with an interpreter. Or the court system wasn't uh, prepared either via TDD or otherwise to provide an interpreter. TED stands for Telephone Equipment Distribution. It's a program for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. It's been almost a year. Uh, they still await their marriage license. We reached out to the clerk of court to get their response, but their director of communications said they don't comment on pending litigation. Now, the couple has been together for almost 11 years. They met over in Columbia. They do share a nine-year-old son, and they say they still want to get married in Duval. For local coverage you can count on in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Princess Johnny Steverson, Action News Jax.